All right, folks, buckle up because this is about to get interesting. There's been a lot of chatter lately, and it's starting to look like the Miami Dolphins are eyeing none other than Geno Smith. Yes, the Seahawks quarterback who's been through just about every high and low you can think of in this league. Now, when we talk about quarterbacks, especially ones the Dolphins might be interested in, it's impossible to skip over Geno's wild ride through the NFL. Let's rewind and take a look at Geno's career so far. Drafted by the New York Jets in 2013, he came out of West Virginia, a place where he was lighting it up in college. Strong arm, mobile, all the tools you want in a QB. But as we all know, jumping into the NFL as a starter isn't always sunshine and touchdowns. Geno got the starting nod in his rookie season with the Jets, and let's just say things were bumpy. 12 touchdowns and 21 interceptions in 2013? Yeah, those numbers didn't do him any favors. He finished that season with a pretty forgettable completion rate and was immediately thrown into the mix of young quarterbacks who might or might not survive. The next year? Not much better. Geno did slightly improve his touchdown-to-interception ratio, but nothing jaw-dropping. The Jets weren't exactly setting the league on fire, and with fans starting to get impatient, the QB situation was turning into a revolving door. And then, in 2015, the real kicker, Geno's jaw was broken in a locker room fight with a teammate. You read that right, a punch from his own guy sidelined him, and that was pretty much the end of his starting days with the Jets. From there, it was a roller coaster ride of being a backup. He found himself behind the scenes with teams like the Giants and Chargers hardly seeing the field. For years, he was just the guy who used to start for the Jets. No one was talking about Geno as a future star anymore. Fast forward to 2019, and here's where things start to turn around. Geno signs with the Seattle Seahawks, not to be the guy, but to sit behind Russell Wilson. For a few seasons, he bided his time, sitting, learning, watching Wilson run the show. Then, 2022 hits, and Russell gets shipped off to Denver. Suddenly, there's an open seat, and Geno steps up, ready to prove everyone wrong. And prove them wrong he did. 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, over 4,200 yards passing, and nearly 70% completion rate. People, this was the best football of Geno Smith's career, hands down. He wasn't just filling in, he was dominating. The Seahawks made the playoffs with Geno leading the charge, and he even snagged a Pro Bowl spot. Remember, this was a guy who had been written off for years, now suddenly showing he had what it takes to be a top quarterback in this league. What makes Geno Smith a great fit for the Dolphins? Well, let's talk about what he brings to the table. First off, at 6 feet 3 inches and 221 pounds, he's got the build. He's tough to take down and can stand tall in the pocket. But it's not just about size, Geno is mobile. He's not the type of QB that's going to stand there and wait to get hit. If things break down, he can extend plays with his legs, keeping defenses on their toes. His biggest leap in the past couple of years has been his decision-making. Early in his career, turnovers were a killer. But now? Geno's playing smart, protecting the ball, and delivering passes with pinpoint accuracy. Short passes, deep shots, he's hitting them all. He's not just a game manager, he's a leader. And that leadership? Well, the Dolphins could definitely use some of that as they push to become a legit contender. What's the catch? Sure, there are some questions about whether he can sustain this kind of play. Was 2022 a fluke, or has Geno truly figured it all out? That's the million-dollar question. But with the Dolphins reportedly showing interest, it looks like they're betting Geno can be the guy to take them where they want to go. Bringing in a guy like Geno, with his resilience and fresh momentum, would add a whole new dynamic to the Dolphins' offense. If this move happens, it'll be a game-changer. You've got a quarterback who's been through the fire, come out stronger, and is ready to lead. So, buckle up, Dolphins fans. If Geno lands in Miami, it's going to be one wild ride.